Well, the warm weather is here. Well, it was anyway, so that means cottages, camping, enjoying the outdoors, and those pesky mosquitoes, right? right? And we need to protect ourselves from them too. We do. It is that time of year. Most of us, when we're bitten by a mosquito, even those carrying West Nile, mm -hmm. we're unaware. But of course, in some cases, there are some symptoms to watch out for. They include fever, headaches, swollen glands, nausea, even a rash. And in more severe cases, people can experience numbness mm -hmm. and even neck stiffness. So this is the time of year that the city sends out its crews to battle those bugs. In 2012, we had uh, 94 reported human cases of West Nile virus, and that's the highest uh, since 2002. Last year was the second worst on record for West Nile virus in Toronto. Today, crews were deployed, targeting standing water and catch basins, looking for disease-carrying mosquito larvae. What we've done is come up here and treated it with an application of methylprene and we've spray painted a dot of paint on the corner of the basin here in red. The paint is a sign each catch basin has been treated with larvicide. This is one of 115,000 monitored across Toronto and the success rate of killing off mosquitoes 90 to 100 percent. 43 of these traps are being set up across the city. Here's how it works. Dry ice is placed into this bucket and that dry ice releases carbon dioxide, which attracts mosquitoes. Also attracting them is a black light. Then there's a fan placed right about here and it actually sucks the mosquitoes into this net. Have you noticed uh, any mosquitoes so far this season? I personally haven't, no, not yet. Toronto Public Health says it's tough to guess how bad a season we could be in for. 2002 and 2012 have been the deadliest for West Nile. Ten people died in 02 and one last year. But typically, a hotter summer means a higher number of West Nile carrying mosquitoes. Typically, this season has been very cool, so we're hoping um, that will reduce the actual amount of West Nile virus in the city. This year's West Nile virus budget for the city is just over a million dollars. Health officials are reminding you to get rid of standing water, wear bug repellent with DEET and light-colored clothing. The temperatures are supposed to rise uh, this week and the weekend. That means next weekend, it'll be full of mosquitoes. You know this. Oh. Yeah, you got to slather on the stuff on the uh, kids too, right? Because, uh, you know, even my doctor said yeah. just do it, when, especially when, if you go away, it's worth it. Instead Something you want to pay everybody. attention to though, you know how we have to, they, they say we should use DEET yes. in our insect repellent. So you probably know this, but children under six months of age, zero mm -hmm. DEET, right. no DEET. And one other thing I wanted to mention too is that even though the there are more mosquitoes, or so it seems, up north, mm -hmm. the ones that carry West Nile, they like urban areas better. Oh, how nice. So right here in Toronto.